Oh my gosh. Okay. That, that, this is a, uh, this is a pretty big box that just came in from Big Chief Studios. Big Chief Studios, you may remember them when they sent me an amazing array of Goldfinger themed statues. I mean, you, you could call them collector dolls, but these were high end, we'll call them dolls, collector dolls that the detail was amazing. If you haven't seen the discussion about the uh, James Bond one or Goldfinger himself or Odd Job, we'll put the link down below. You should probably check it out before you watch this one. But hold on. Judging from this shirt and judging from the display that I'm in front of, this is their series from Live and Let Die, by far my favorite Roger Moore movie. It's amazing. I can't wait to start digging into these. So why don't we go check out what's in the box? So as you can imagine, we're going to get into a lot of detail with these because they are very detailed pieces. They come with their own displays. And the first one I feel like we have to start with is James Bond. So it says James Bond, Live and Let Die, six scale character replica figure from Big Chief Studios, .co .uk. That's right. Keeping the British end up. Let's go take a look. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a knife. Now that's a knife. So we've got to be careful when we open these. And it's more about not just um, ripping your fingers to shreds, but when you open these, you want to be very conscious of the packaging inside. In fact, I'm not going to use this knife. I'm going to use something a little bit different. Now this, this is what happens when you have a James Bond display at your disposal. I'm going to be taking my scalpel that you see in the beginning of Diamonds Are Forever from my Diamonds Are Forever display. Folks, we're doing this on the fly. You can't make this stuff up. This stuff is not scripted. And I think that's what you like about it. But let's go check out what's inside. Now, in a perfect world, what you really want to start doing, let's see if I don't get the light. Look at that, you're getting the outside, you're getting the phone. That's because this is very reflective. You want to take your time when opening these. It's, I get it, it's human nature to say, I, I gotta get to the, the gooey insides, I gotta get to the doll itself. But the packaging is half the beauty of this. I mean, look at this. Look at how they do this. And by the way, the way they ship these, um, Collectors want to make sure that their boxes are in good shape. This isn't just about what's inside. So this is shipped in a beautiful way. Check this out. This is this is all about the experience. When you when you pull this off, look at what that does. I feel like I want to put that on my head. Is that uh, children? Don't do this at home. I'm going to get all these angry parent letters. Uh, but that's actually very cool. Now you can see without some of the reflection the box itself. Okay, let's put the scalpel back where it belongs. So we're not ripping the box and we'll slowly and very gently pull this up. And by the way, you can't see it, but I, I very, it's almost like a surgery station here. I put my table there. I got my table here because I want everything in pristine shape. And look at what we're greeted to. How do you like that with the bullet hole through the glass, just looking great. And uh, it's, let's see, well, I'll read you the specs because this is about detail. Uh, this has a James Bond portrait head featuring the authentic likeness of Roger Moore, has a turtleneck jersey, not end peel, has a pair of high-waisted trousers. I swear, it says high-waisted trousers. I, I, I'm not making that up. It has a belt, shoulder holster, pair of socks, pair of sport shoes, interchangeable hands, display base. Accessories include a revolver, a machete, a bug detector, a submariner wristwatch. Hello? What? Incinerary bomb, a snake, wrapped lengthwise, and a printed display backdrop. All right. You had me at Roger Moorhead. You had me at Roger Moorhead. What? All right. So we're going to take this part out carefully because lo and behold, this this cover to the doll doubles as the backdrop. And if you could see by the, the little details over here, it is, it looks like Baron Samdi's little dancing area of, um, of this place. And 
uh, it just looks really cool because it's slightly out of focus, just like it should be. So we're going to, again, gingerly put that on the side so we can take a look at that. All right, so you're greeted, obviously, with a lot going on. We've got top secret. I'd, I'd love to show you. I'd love to show you. But it's top secret. No, we can show you. Of course, we're going to show you. Let's open the cellophane. Okay, and inside we've got instructions. It scares me that I need instructions, but that's probably pretty smart. Ah, okay. They're instructions so you don't destroy your investment, how to put on the watch, uh, how to open the revolver. The revolver opens, who knew? And how to put in the batteries, and even how to magnetize the watch. What? Okay, this, this is gonna take some exploring. It is, um, oh, it's, it's numbered. I didn't even realize these were numbered. This is 229 out of 1,000. 1,000 is not a lot of pieces. It's, uh, I'm not gonna read you everything in here, but it has a nice little letter from Under Majesty. Uh, blah, blah, blah. It's got uh, some details about Bond in there and his attire and what it comes with. And then a little synopsis as well. Very cool booklet. I, I don't think you just met me, but I love the pomp and circumstances of these things. I mean, to me, that is half the fun to, to really engage with the pomp and circumstances. So I love that aspect. All right, let's take this puppy out. Now I want to show you something that's happening. Mmm, smells like toy. There's two levels to this. You've got Bond over here, and then you have um, some other pieces. You have his base, and it looks like his machete, and something else at the top, which is unidentifiable as of yet. But take a look at this. Look at how many, that's a lot of hands. I'm just talking out loud here. So here's what we're gonna do. Because there's so many pieces, we wanna get some up close details of this so you can really appreciate uh, the likeness and what this comes with. So we're going to do a nice gentle sweep over this. First of all, we're going to take a look at the hands in a variety of different positions, probably to hold the gun or to hold different pieces like the machete or even to hold the gadgets. But right away, we are met with that amazing likeness. I mean, look at that. It even has his birthmark. Ooh, that's, that's eerie. The different color variations in the hair, the skin tone, which is, you know, almost like mottled, but a lot of different skin tones on there, which just makes it look amazing. The eyes, which are just absolutely identifiable as Roger Moore's eyes. And then we see the outfit. Now, I think you may know I'm a clothing guy. This stuff is just bang on. I mean, the holster looks fantastic. The belt, the high-waisted pants, not as high-waisted as I thought. Oh, good. They have the watch on there already. I am very grateful for that. I was a little nervous about putting that on. The pants and even the shoes with the... Oh, come on. Are you serious? Hold on. I got to show you this to you. That is the correct treads. Yes, I do even know that. So some of this is covered up by tape, so I apologize. But... We've got a lot of the little props in here. We obviously have the gun. We have the bug detector. Wow, th this just has everything. Has the detonator and the countdown. And yes, even a Somdi snake. A little something for everybody. Now here's the second tier. Like I said, it has the base. It has the stalk to the base. It has the light up portion, which is uh, it's kind of like clear kind of frosted glass and the machete, which I believe, yes, it is <laughs> cold to the touch because it's metal. Stop it. The detail. So I have to show you something absolutely ridiculous. And this is what I mean by detail. So I'm going to pick up the gas pellet with the tweezers. And if you take a look at the watch there, watch this, watch this. Ladies and gentlemen, it's magnetic. I mean, what? Okay, now that you've seen the parts and the pieces, let's put it all together to really check this thing out. Okay, I haven't put everything together because I want you to see the individual components first. So there is, 
I mean, it's Sir Roger Moore. That's just all there is to it. I have the display on there, which I haven't put the batteries in yet. We're going we're gonna to do everything as a crescendo. You'll see. You've got the watch, which look at that. It's even got the red markings on there. You've got the turtleneck. Let's take a look at the holster, shall we? My gosh, that, just the details, even, even the little parts like that. And then of course you've got that Roger Moore face, which is, I mean, it's kind of everything. So down below here, <laughs> let's see if you can see it. Look at that. That is, that's the gas pellet. I mean, that's the thing that fits into the gun. You have no idea. Well, you know what? You will have an idea. Edit. Just to show you how small this is, here is a tweezer with my fingers. And that's how small that piece is. Okay? It'll give you an idea. All right. But these are the different components, the gadgets that come in there. I'm sure you recognize every single one of them. So I'm not going to insult your intelligence. But what a, what a lot of accoutrements that this comes with. So how does this look when we start to put it all together? And ladies and gentlemen, when you put the right hands and props, weaponry together, you get something like this. I mean, it, I feel like it, it's like a mini wax museum. So we'll come in nice and close, see a different angle of the head again. But as we start to drape down, so what I did was I put the hand in that has a trigger finger because I wanted the gun. On this side, what I did was I wanted to obviously have him holding that amazing metal machete. Sorry about the crotch shot. But look at what I did with, I, I mean, come on. I had to show that magnetism off because it's sheer magnetism. It really is. <laughs> had to be said. And then as you go down below, it kind of all finishes off. And for now, at least, I'm, I'm sure I'm going to find an appropriate place for these. But I did want to have them at least represented in the actual thing. But let's, let's, let's draw back and really take it all in. So here we have it in all its glory. Now, I have to tell you something. Of course, we had to start with Sir Roger Moore. We had to start with James Bond to kick this off. But I've got two other collectibles, two other dolls in that box. I have Baron Samdi and I have Solitaire. But we're going to save that for part two and part three. Join me next time because we're going to put those two together. And then the very last one, we're going to put all three of them together and see, see the amazing impact that they make. Big thank you to Big Chief Studios for sending these to us so we can uh, have fun and become a kid again. Grown-up kids. I mean, these are grown-up collectibles. This has been David Zaritsky for The Bond Experience. Hope you had as much fun as I did. Probably not. I'm going to shut this off so I can go put him into different poses. Lots to be done. Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to be up on the latest from the Bond experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're going to get all the latest and greatest information plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you just because we know you. Talk to you soon.